Look what came in the mail! Oh yeah, Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. And the back of it. I, you probably aren't here to see the back of it, but anyway, I'm just gonna make a quick unboxing of sorts and then play a couple of the games to just have a little bit of fun here. So here's a little collector's booklet, well, celebration book of sorts. Ooh. Do we have here mm, timeline? Well, not well history of sorts. I gotta make sure my hands are inside the the camera. <laughs> you know the camera's area. Ooh, this is a lot to go through. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through all this on camera, but as you can see, it's a big history of Kirby. Uh, looks like there's even some concept art. Very nice. But of course, you are here for the game. I'm hoping to do all the games uh, on the back of this box here eventually, you know, as walkthroughs. But I have to be able to direct record this, and that's kind of also what I'm also making this video about. I said also twice there because if you try to record an N64 with a, a camera that I have now, it will it will not be able to read that signal. It's <clears throat> the N64, SNES and NES uses very unconventional video signals for some reason and it, uh, they're apparently just barely a video signal enough to produce a video on your TV. So it's hard for most devices to pick them up. That's why I've been having trouble picking up an, uh, NES and 64 and SNES games. So anyway, as you can see, the game is still shrink-wrapped. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this open with my hands alone. Oh, maybe. I have scissors on hand just in case, but that's how I typically open uh, game cases. I just stick my finger at the finger slot there on the side. And I'm gonna pop open the case uh, above the camera so in case the... Oh, okay, I was right. The pin number for the uh, Club Nintendo game is right on the front slip, which I don't want to show. That's why I, you know, obviously, I want the points here. <laughs> so here we are. Got a couple adverts for stuff. Well, and Mario Party 9 on this side, and you've seen is the rest of got it got it uh can't get those hulu plus and netflix can't get those either <laughs> i need wi-fi dang it or at least i think i do and the booklets lots of kirby prints i just gotta keep my hands within the camera dang it <laughs> All I have to do is put it on the bed and you'll be able to see it. Hmm. A lot of these Kirby games I actually never played before, like uh, the first Kirby's Dream Land on the uh, uh, Game Boy, because it, I just couldn't find the copy of it. And when I did find the copy, it was overpriced, and it's like, eh, no, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just wait. <laughs> hmm. Very brief. Explanation of the controls. I see. Oh, Kirby 64. I have wanted to do a walkthrough on this game for ages. And I will be seeing very shortly if I'll be able to record this. Uh, because I'll be doing it... Ah, come on, flip, flip. <laughs> oh, this is for the uh, challenge stages. These are based off the Kirby's Return to Dreamland stages. Which I, I will definitely be doing as well. I don't know if I'll add them to my... Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland playlist or have like a Kirby Anniversary Edition playlist or something like that. I don't know. Just yet. I'll think about it. Uh, preview of the Kirby anime too. I'm not sure if I can show that though because, you know, copyrights and all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess I think that's... Oh, wait, wait. The discs themselves. We have the com compilation soundtrack. <clears throat> I was going to say complete soundtrack. Uh, recyclable case. <laughs> Um, and here is the disc. That is a very, very decorated Kirby disc. <laughs> All right, let's get to the gameplay itself. <laughs> there it goes, there it goes. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah! Oh! 
Okay, maybe I was a little bit too enthusiastic about putting the disc in the Wii, but here we are at the main Wii menu, and let's click. Aw, oh, 8-bit Kirby, you are as cute as ever. Let's start playing some Kirby. I don't know how many games I'm going to go through in here. I'll just see how things go, I suppose. Hopefully I don't have to stop because of any uh, video corruption or something like that. That is by far the worst case scenario. Yes, please. New safe slot. Brand new. It's shiny. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is the same, um, <laughs> this is the same, um, video as the trailer. You know, the trailer for the game? Boop! Suck him in! Suck him in! Yeah! Hey, that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to shoot out a giant star. And that looked kind of painful. Alright! I will press 2 to start. Let's see what we have here. These, this is obviously the games. Ooh, the new challenge stages. Oh my, what should I choose first? Oh, I guess I'll just get to the games. <laughs> well, the first thing, as I said, I want to test is Kirby 64. So, Kirby 64 it is. Please don't corrupt. Please don't corrupt. Please, please, N64 logo, don't corrupt me. Well, the video. <laughs> It'll say file failed on the camera if it does, and then I'll know immediately. It, it does it after like 40 some seconds, like 40 to 50 seconds or so. So let's just watch the intro and see how things go. Oh, so cute, so fun, so happy, so colorful. Oh, jeez, what's going on? Oh! Oh, well, there goes the town. Save us, giant crystal shard! Well, it's just giant crystal. It's not a shard just yet. <laughs> it will be shortly, though. Run away! Run away! Oh! Oh, dear! Oh, 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 oh! And now it's the shards. <laughs> Well, it seems to be holding up, so let's play a little bit. I really hope this is going to work. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's just do the for fun of it. <laughs> Wait, what is the B button on the Wii remote? I I'm guessing it's 1. <laughs> I should have paid more, more attention to the in instruction manual. They said on the back of the box that all games could be played with the um, Wii Remote, so that's what I'm doing right now. I figured it would be a little bit easier than uh, um, having to switch controllers, maybe. Although I don't see why any other controller wouldn't be able to play, play it if a standard Wii Remote without anything else can be able to do so. Wait, L and R button? What the? What is L and R on this controller? <laughs> I never thought of that. It's probably like uh, the minus or plus buttons, or maybe it's the B button on the back. You know, when you're holding the Wii Remote sideways, you would use the uh, pointer finger to hit the B button. Some people use their middle finger. So yeah, in this Kirby game, you can transform into a lot of different combinations. There are seven different elements that, well, I guess some of them are like... Well, I wouldn't call them elements, but <laughs> I'll, I'll just say they're powers, and you can combine them into other ones. Like you see, you got rock and needle there, which combine into a drill. Very, very cool game concept. No, please, dear God, no. Just let's get to the game. <laughs> and the, since the video file is not corrupting, I can make a walkthrough on it. <laughs> this is why I always have to do tests before I make any sort of video. Because if, if something corrupts, or something doesn't look right, records right, whatever, 
I'm screwed. I can't make a walkthrough on it. So uh -oh, these two combine into a larger one. Woohoo! But there's many, many other ones, and that's what you have to collect in order to 100% this game. Is all the crystal shards. There are, I believe, three per level or something like that. Anyway, let's get this moving. This is Pop Star, the very first level. Can't select any other worlds right now, of course. We have a little crayon. We can go back to the world map, but that's useless to us. So we're gonna start the first level. It looks really nice, I have to say. I think it looks a little better than the N64 version I've been playing. So yeah, there's a little star there and the camera swings around so you can see Kirby's face as he runs. So it actually, uh, I gotta use a power to, that, that won't give me a power. <laughs> this one will give me a power though. Okay, if I, now what is it? Hmm, that's the plus button. Hmm. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out the controls here for the Wii Remote. Hmm. Plus is pause. Hmm. I don't know. I, I should be able to um uh, lose my power like I would I want to maybe it's the A oh it's the A button, okay. Why didn't I think of that? I'm gonna combine them and bow and arrow! Woohoo! So it is possible to play all these games with just the Wii Remote as stated. Why didn't I think of using the A button? I don't know. A button is actually kind of awkward to be honest because you gotta let go of the uh, control pad to even, you know, get to the A button. Although it's such a switch, quick switch, so it might not make a difference. I want to switch power. Cutter! Well, it's actually blade, but woo! And you actually cut a piece of your body off. Uh, yeah, it's kind of gross, but... <laughs> so that's one of the three crystal shards for this level anyway. Two more to go. I'm just playing this as if I were to make a walkthrough per se, although not quite as uh, informative. That's a Maxim Tomato. Oh, this is going to be so easy because this guy doesn't move at all. Uh, if I don't have a power, I would have to suck in one of those enemies there and then spit it back at it, you know, with the ye all one button, which is the B button on the N64 version. I'm going to switch powers just to show some other stuff to you. There's so many combinations of powers. Now this is the needle power. If you do this in midair, you can do like a rolling needle thing. It's it pretty much makes you invincible, so it's kind of overpowered in a way. And although if you come out of it like that, that's kind of a bad idea. <laughs> like if you uh, come out of it in the middle of some invulnerable enemy or something like that. Poppy Brothers Jr. I would like your bomb power, please. Woohoo! And now I can throw bombs. The longer you hold the one button or the B button, the further your bombs will throw. It's a matter of getting the feel of it down. And wait, wait, wait. Will this bo normal bomb work? Yes, it will. Okay. That's exactly what I needed to get that shard. And that's another thing in, in that uh, it's very cryptic in how do you get some of these shards. Be oh, I should have kept him alive because I wanted to... I mean, I should have combined bomb power because of the way that um, the some of those things are kind of... You don't know which power you need to destroy and unlock, well, to get a crystal shard from those things. If, if you get what I'm trying to say here, sometimes it requires a combination of two powers. And watch us. Waddle D transforms into... Because of this black critter. Waddle Do! And that is the boss. And needless to say, it is a very, very, very easy boss. If you don't have a... It's crying. <laughs> if you don't have a power, you can uh, just shoot that star back at him. You know, those stars right there. It's basic Kirby 101 there. And shard! Shard! Oh, I just barely missed it. <laughs> and that is the first level of the game. Oh, I'm so happy I can make a walkthrough in this game. I could cry. <laughs> I've been wanting to make one for years upon years! Oh, and uh, at the end of every stage, you have a chance to get a card. This is another thing. This this I probably wouldn't cover in the walkthrough because you can just pretty much tell where each card is. See that, that question mark on there? That is the card you are aiming for. 
The other stuff, unless you really, really need it, I, I would just ignore and just aim for the card. The way Kirby's arms are, are how far he is going to jump and when you press the A button on the, uh, <laughs> A button, the 2 button on the Wii Remote. Uh, you have to stop his direction first, and then his uh, momentum second. I think this will be fine. Oh, poopers! I wanted that card. So that's another thing about that, is that you would just have to keep trying stages to get those cards over and over and over again until you get them all, which would be kind of annoying. But then, and my walkthrough re wouldn't really help all that much with that. Oh my god, this area is beautiful. I forgot how beautiful this game looks. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, I actually would like to uh, combine oh, A button. I forgot. <laughs> I'm stressing the B button again. There we go. Now watch this. Missiles! Yeah! <laughs> and they're homing missiles, too. That is spectacular. By the way, you can drop through some platforms by pressing down and just jumping through them by pressing up. Very simple Kirby stuff. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm so glad I can make a walkthrough on it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch powers again just because I can. That's kind of a Kirby thing. Like that one's gonna get destroyed because I couldn't suck it in. If it, if you can't get an enemy in your mouth, it's still doomed. Um go to flop on the ground. Bomb plus rock equals TNT! This this power is kinda interesting because. If it explodes, and you're not covering yourself with this... Come on, explode already. It's a huge explosion, but if you're not covering yourself, it'll actually hurt you! Come on, hurt me already. It takes a while to explode unless some enemy is there. There we go. <laughs> like, if I were to throw it at that Gordo, it would explode instantly. But yeah, you press down to give yourself that little construction hat there. There's a lot of secrets to- Whoa, that explosion really is huge. There's a lot of uh, little extra powers that Kirby's regular powers have as well. Just gotta look for them and whatnot. <gasps> Spark, but it's sadly not plasma. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of power. But what I want to do is combine it with something else. I th oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I'm hoping there's a- ice enemy around here. If you know what I'm talking about here, you know why I want to show. There is! There is! So what does this do? Refrigerator Kirby! <laughs> and you can actually get unlimited health like that by because he keeps spitting out food out, there, out of the refrigerator. <laughs> it's one of the most broken powers in the game and you can use it to attack enemies! <laughs> So it's a projectile weapon and a healing weapon. Probably the most broken item in the game. Well, broken power in the game. Oh, the refrigerator is so awesome. Um, I'm still looking for a shard around here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it's somewhere down below, actually. Or at least the first shard is in this area. I think I'm looking for a line of stars pointing me downward, so I gotta keep looking ahead. There we go. Fall down. Good, good, good! Go, 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 go! Oh, and uh, Kirby's float, floating, is actually limited in this Kirby game, so you can't just like float for an unlimited amount of time in the air. It's like, see, he's tiring out, he's tiring out, he's tiring out, oh, 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 oh. And, you, and then you fall. So you gotta make sure that you. When you're jumping towards something, you gotta get towards some land. Alright, that was stupid. <laughs> I mean, on my part. No, oh shoot, I should have went to the left or to the right. Refrigerator attack! <laughs> Best power ever! Well, maybe not. There's other more fun powers probably. Ow! It's a second shard, one more shard to go. I forgot how many powers are in this game, actually. She's gonna have a really, really hard time painting with a brush that has rainbow paint on it. I don't know how you would be able to blend colors like that. <laughs> well, there wasn't anything on that canvas anyway, so I guess didn't even bother. <laughs> Maybe she was about to uh, wash her brush or something like that. Oh, jeez! 
Battle time! Me versus... Sketches. <laughs> very, very clever boss concept here. And just look at the, how different the graphical style is compared to the rest of the game. And wow, enemies can actually just run right into you. And they'll die as well in your refrigerator. That is more broken than I ever thought it was. <laughs> oh, it's, it's censored! Dear Lord! What the heck is that? Is that like a boob or something? Or a testicle? <laughs> uh, what is this thing? I believe it shoots ice, actually. Yes, it does. I, I believe it is a bigger sized enemy from uh, other Kirby games. Woo! But this, I, I think it's it just not, that looks different enough that it's kind of throwing me off for a little bit. <laughs> Obviously, the idea here is to kill all the uh, sketches. So I guess that's how she manages to paint with a rainbow brush. It just she just kind of oops, just kind of paints at the surface there and just things just start forming and well that works <laughs> attack <laughs> eat my food and voila another stage is done oh geez i am 16 minutes here plus the um 16 minutes plus the little unboxing preview of sorts maybe i should get to another game now I've been having so much fun! Yay! Another buddy! There's still one more buddy to get, actually. Oh, look at the card. I hate these things. Yes, I got it! Woo! Now, I'll show you how many cards there are as long as I'm here. Why not? Go back to the... Huh? Title screen? How do I... Damn! I've been fumbling with the controls for ages. <laughs> just because I'm not used to the Wii Remote over the um, N64, so I'm just going to cheat, cheat it a little bit and do this. Yes. Classic titles. And go back to here for the cards. This is one way of doing it. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if it saved my game progress. It better save my game progress, otherwise I'm doing this for nothing. <laughs> because it won't remember that card that I got. Okay. Options. Is it the enemy info? Yes. This is where you get the cards. I mean, where you can see your collection of cards. This is why the walkthrough won't help, because you got to go through the stages to, to get the cards and... You can only get the cards through practice, and the cards are always at those bonus end state, the bonus end parts of the stages. So that is a flopper, a very cute little polygonal fish. All right, now because I still don't know how to get back to the game normally, <laughs> reset once again. Moving on. Oh, you can. I believe those cards also have um, characters as well, like regular characters, not just enemies. Alright, so now I want to test. Maybe I'll play a game that I never played before. Kirby's Dreamland 3, just for the heck of it, like show you a little blindness for fun. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. <laughs> Love the crayon graphics, by the way. Very stylish. It's like the same critters I was facing in Kirby 64. <laughs> no, don't eat my fish. I worked... Oh, dang it, he got it. <laughs> I worked hard to catch that fish by watching this cutscene. Oh, geez, Wispy Woods. <laughs> Wispy Woods is always there. Kitty, hamster, something, bird, bird, fish, and I think his name is Gooey, the guy in the center. I, as I said, I've never played this game before, so this will be blind. I don't really know any of these characters. 
<laughs> so let's just get a new file started here. Wait, what? I'm pressing... Oh. Why is it the one button for this game of all things? <laughs> well, whatever. Graphics really remind me of Yoshi's Island. Anyway, I'm hoping, just like the N64, will not corrupt the video file. If it does, I'm gonna have to stop the video and record something else. Oh, why did you do that to that poor hamster? He wanted to be your buddy and... Oh, how could you do such a thing? First level, I, I guess. Oh my. It's Kirby. And this music's... I thought this music came from Kirby 64 first. I am wrong. So we got some Waddle Dees. We got some blocks. We got some awesome graphics. I don't know why I'm even comp. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's kind of like Kirby 64. <laughs> I'm not really much of a graphics guy, but I do like artistic stuff, and this is rather nice, I have to say. Door? Do I want to go in the door? Progress? I'm going in the door! I don't know. Oh my. Hmm. Do I. Oh. How do I select. How do I. Get one of you guys as my buddy. I know I can- I've seen Raukal play this game before. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's the B button. That dang B button. <laughs> I finally have a use for it. <laughs> Alright, so... Got Kirby Boomerang, plus a hamster. So, I guess this isn't completely blind, although I haven't seen Raukal's thingy for ages, and... I bet you that I bet you those blocks are just destroyed like nothing. I could only destroy with the cutter based on the symbol there. That's just my guess. I'm not actually sure about that. I just destroyed them and I, I just noticed that they were a different kind of block, so I was like, hmm, maybe they're actually different. And should I be trying some other powers? Should I be exploring more? I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around here. <laughs> Aha! Those are specialty blocks. Like this is probably an umbrella. So, how do I lose my power? Mm, oh, there we go. It's the minus button, which is probably the select button. Oh, wait, wait, I, I don't need you just yet. I want to see what you have. It's an umbrella, and... How is the umbrella in this game? Umbrella is kind of bad in a lot of Kirby games, in my opinion. So it's not a power that I typically use, but I... Ow. But I am willing... What the heck? <laughs> but I am willing to try it for the sake of trying things because I've never played this game before. So I guess the animal critters give you powers upon powers, so I guess that's the sort of combat. Wait, wait, that was Spark. Reset, reset! <laughs> uh, okay, so get off. Lose the power. Oh wait, can I can I lose the power on my hamster buddy? Yes I can, so I don't need to do that. Ow. Can I suck you and then Yes I can! Okay, that's that's a lot more helpful than having to actually lose my buddy as well. <laughs> and then you know I have to get back on top of him. Maxim tomato! Yeah, you can pretty much tell where your health is on there, those little five dots on the screen. It actually looks expandable from how much you know there's how much extra dots there are on the screen. I don't know if it actually is or not. Maybe the game has difficulty levels or something like that. I don't know. I just kind of jumped into it. Eh! Eh! Let me up. Thank you. <laughs> There's a door! Let's go in the door! Woo! A door into nothing! It's just a black hole. I don't know how a sky can't have a door, but there we go. What is this flower? Oh! Hmm. I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Let's squish all the flowers. <laughs> I just see I just seen him as bobbing around. And I was like, hmm. I wonder if that's something special. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Invincibility! Oh god, I can actually burst through blocks as well. Very nice. Woohoo! Woohoo, I say! <laughs> And killing all the flowers! Down with gardening, ow! <laughs> I wonder how many stars it takes to get an extra life in this game, I don't know. And... I'll squish you too. But you seem very sad. Hmm, maybe I was supposed to keep those alive or something? 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's just like that picnic. The picnic mini game of death. Um, I don't know the timing of this, but I'm not aiming for any cards, so I guess I'll go for that uh, one up there. Eh! Hmm. I wasn't too far off. Alright, I'll play one more level of this game, and I'll go on to something else, I guess. Yeah, it definitely looks like I missed something there. Because you see, there's a slot above that level there. Whether it was a collectible or some sort of task, I do not know. <laughs> I've never played the game before, and I don't remember much of Raukow's videos. Hello, Rock. I will try you out. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> Can I jump? No, I can't jump with him like that. It's kind of odd. I would think I'd be able to jump because I'm a hamster rock. And wait, what is... What is that? Is that... I have no idea what that symbol is. Is it you? Is it your broom? <laughs> I got a feather duster. E. <laughs> well, this might work. Maybe? Oh, it does work. Okay. It, it, it seemed like it matched that witchy woman's thing, so that's why I thought maybe it was a broom. Or maybe it's a feather duster, or maybe it is a broom transformed into a feather duster. Kirby does seem... That was fire, I should have tried that out. <laughs> Kirby does seem to be able to to enhance the powers that he gets. And... Gimme! Uh, I forgot, you don't suck. You just kind of gulp. That's, that's pretty basic for a fire power. That's destroyed by rock, I think. Let's just move on. Should be a, ooh, it's like a confetti funhouse here. Uh, wait, wait, I didn't mean to do that. I want to lose my character. That is A button. Wait, no, that's not the A button. How did I, wait, why did you, huh? How, how did I get off of my buddy before I completely, oh, it's the B button, derp. <laughs> what? How did- why are you here? <laughs> I, I just like made you out of nowhere. That that goes against all of Kirby. And- Oh, I see! I just noticed that there's a little life bar over there. So if I were to press- Oh, you can make your own buddy! That kind of splits your health into four and four with your buddy. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to- No, I did it wrong again. <laughs> That did not make him very happy. <laughs> I'm going to try her. Be Whoa! <laughs> because she's the one that was being... I mean, that she's the one that Kirby chose in the intro video of sorts. Whoever she is. <laughs> Give me this. What is this? Oh, 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 secret, secret, secret! It's in here. What is this? Are you someone that I can use? Nothing? Can I... Suck you in? Maybe? No? Okay, you definitely seem important, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with you. <laughs> oh, whoa! I did not expect that. <laughs> I just I just ran across the area because I didn't know that enemy. I never seen that before, and it extends upwards. Tricky. Oh, you can do that. Ooh, you can climb on things. That might come in handy, actually. Wait, can you float? You can sort of do. Yeah, you can float. The hamster buddy wasn't able to float. I. That's fire, right? I need fire for that. Oh, but that's not important. It looks like so. Let's just move on. And ooh. <laughs> Glad I jumped up there. Needle? Let's try needle. Eek. All right, I can't burst the blocks in my head because she grabs onto them. So she's got that. If I would get off you, what is... Oh, figures, a little spike ball. Okay. Re-equip. I am getting the hang of these controls! So quickly! Ow! <laughs> Only I am failing! Oh, I should have actually grabbed the fire guy. Uh, then it's that, and then... Come on, fire guy. I was just telling it to respawn, and... Wow. Okay, what... Oh, is that like a blimp? How did I... I mean, how did she... 
There must be a different way to use that power. Doesn't tell on that screen. I want I want to use that little blimp power that I seen there. Oh, there we go. You hold the jump and the uh, attack button at the same time. And that requires a needle, I think. Just looks like it. Oh, wait, she's got a limited floaty float, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Okay. Good to know. And that this has got terrible range. <laughs> I'm dropping that. And I already tried needle. Let's see what else we can try out. Oh, hmm. We did fire, and that was horrible. <laughs> Got some wild boars going around, which I'm going to completely ignore. And okay, these got these critters are definitely important, but I don't know what they're important for. Because I got because here's, here's another sad one here. It probably like that first one probably had something to do with those flowers. What up? What up? Oh, I'm so close. I'm used to doing that sort of jump from Kirby 64, so maybe that's why I have a decent amount of accuracy on that. And I just noticed the first boss says Wispy. I mean, I mean, uh, on the right side there it says Wispy. I, I I'm betting that is the first boss and that it is Wispy Woods. Okay, one more stage here. I I'm just listening to this music. It just started out super, super happy, and I should have tried that rock, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, wait, I can try this. I'm sure you're not- you're nothing like plasma. Hmm. It's chargeable, but it only- it only shoots the same... Or maybe... Or maybe the thing is... No, it goes straight through blocks. I thought maybe it was to power up and allow it to go through more things, but hmm, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know how to use her charge power. Oh, why are you crying, fish? And maybe it's because I have a buddy here. Oh, okay, it is. So if I were, yeah, they, they seem to want to be with Kirby very much. I, I I feel so bad for the fishy, so I'm gonna. T <laughs> So I am going to be a fishy. I, I thought it I was gonna like hold on to the fish and he was gonna sp spit water or something like that. A light bulb? Is that is that really a light bulb? <laughs> well that's interesting. Okay, what what do you do normally? Oh you just spit with Kirby. Okay, wait, wait, I should try rock actually actually. Oops. Rock? Ooh. <laughs> it's like a fish slamming downward torpedo. Uh, it's very, very similar to just the regular rock power. Oh man, I'm so happy I can even make a walkthrough on this game too! <laughs> because it's not corrupting. Oh, I almost fell to my doom there. I wasn't sure if Fishy could float here. I wasn't trying that before. But he, he can apparently... Oh wait, he can't float! He can't, oh man! I, I really thought that he could float by the way that he moved there, but I guess not. Oh my. It's a good, I guess it's a good thing I landed on that platform. That... Huh? Boss, maybe? Oh, I'm supposed to pick the one that he threw. I didn't know that. I think it was this one? No! No, I lost! I, I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for something. <laughs> I thought he was attempting to throw that at me or something like that. This is an interesting level design here. As those guys hit the walls, it creates like an earthquake effect, and I have to press down to get through here. Man, if I didn't know that you could press down to uh, fall through the floors, I might just get squished. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure about that myself. Like, if I was a beginner and I was playing through the through the game and I didn't know in Kirby games that you would be able to go through floors like that. Wow! <laughs> Did not expect giant cannonball to fall. Anyway, if I didn't know that you could press down to go through floors and if you didn't go through floors automatically, if you got like pushed through them with the ceiling or something, I might get squished. And... I was supposed to do something with that guy, wasn't I? Okay, I, 
I... <laughs> okay, this, this is going to be really hard to aim now. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> the fishy... Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Alright! Oh, I just noticed the guys at the levels, like the level pictures, they're the people that are always sad at the end of the level or disappointed or something like that. Okay, they, they're definitely important to something. I don't know what just yet, but I am going to switch games because I am 35 minutes into the recording. <laughs> I've been playing quite a bit, I have to say. Alright, classic titles. I never played this one. This one. I just played this one, but not all the way through, obviously. I've played this one as a walkthrough, which was Kirby's um, not Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. So I'll try the first Kirby game ever! I, I believe... Um, Kirby does not have powers in this Kirby game. He didn't get powers until the next game. I know the song! Woo! I just realized I'm, I was only four years old when this game came out. Well, this is a really old one. <laughs> Alright, let's get it started. I Wow, it just starts right away. <laughs> I just pressed the plus button, which is apparently the start button. Green greens! It sounds as good as ever, even in 8, like, super ultra 8-bit style here. And wow, I should have just sucked in the enemy normally. And yeah, if I, I press down, I'm not gonna get anything out of them, am I? No, I didn't think so. Bronto Bert, Waddle D. It's... Wait, how do I... Oh, you press up to do the uh, floaty float thing, okay? I will go in there, why not? Mmm, deliciousness. I needed something to drink. I, I heard this game is really, really short. So, I, I, if I were to make a walkthrough on this, it would probably be walkthrough movie style or something like that. Oh, 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 Poppy Brother Senior! Bet you I know what to do here. I'm trying to stay away from him because I don't know, because I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing here. <laughs> now, as I said, I never played the game before, but that worked out. Whoa, that worked out well. I forgot that happens if you suck those critters in. <laughs> that happens in other Kirby games as well. I should know better. <laughs> yeah. No, wait. Oh, so many enemies. <laughs> I'm sort of confused which ones I want to nibble on first, but it is working out strangely well. <laughs> but then again, this is a Kirby game, and Kirby games aren't typically easy. Wait, wait, but I want to... Oh, was there more to the right? I don't know if there was more to the right, dang it! <laughs> there might have been more to the right that I didn't know about. Oh, I, I, sorry, I gotta press up to do my float. The floaty float float in this one. There we go. Will pressing up just work on its own? Yes, it will. Okay, that's interesting. So you can actually control Kirby in the air with just the D-pad. Will he ever run out of floaty float floats? It doesn't look like it. Boop. Hmm. Good hiccup. Excuse me. Good to know. <laughs> oh, must experiment to get good at games. Uh 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 uh. uh. This looked very familiar. Yep, it is! <laughs> it's Wispy Woods! And I'm pretty sure I know how to defeat him. Come on now, this is Wispy Woods! Oh! <laughs> I'm used to pressing the jump button to, um, to do the floaty float thing, but it all worked out. It all worked out in the end. Wispy Woods is still Wispy Woods, which is one of the easiest bosses, if not the easiest boss in gaming history. <laughs> Stage two! Ow! You know, Kirby should take like a Benadryl or something for those allergies. If, if, you know, if that stuff is gonna happen. Whoa, what was that? He, wait, he does have powers in this? I just grabbed that. 
that was the microphone power. Huh. Maybe I was misled about him not being able to have powers. Will I get a bomb if I suck in the bomb? No. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that he's not supposed to have powers in. This... This room seems too suspicious. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Hmm. Oh, maybe that blackness was just to hide the flying enemy there. And... Oh, jeez. Did not know you do that. Can I suck you in? Yes, I can. Uh, oh. oh. Oh, I can't suck you in when you... Or throw stuff at you when you're like that, huh? Oh, Mario Blocks! What are you doing here? <laughs> hmm, where am I supposed to go from here? There's like a bunch of paths and... Ooh, swimming! I can try swimming! I've never swam in this game before! Uh, let's see how it works before I move on here. Just press the jump button to go... Oh, you can also press up to do the swimmy swim. I think it would be safer to do the up because when you come out of the water... What'll happen is that you'll automatically start floating out, and floating and jumping out. Yeah, ow! Dang you, Gordo! You're just as invulnerable and dangerous as ever, I'm sure, too. Woohoo! Invulnerability! At least I know this! Woohoo! Indeedy! Such lag! Such lag! Wait, is that a warp star? Yes, it is a warp star! Yeah! La Lolo and La La La. So you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna throw like that. And this is a different setup than what I'm used to in a typical La Lolo and La 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 fight. I'm sure, it works just the same though. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually easier than the typical La Lolo and La 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 fight. Kirby tradition. God, the games are pretty dang easy. <laughs> so, whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 I'm, I'm trapped. I'm scared. <laughs> I bet you those guys are gonna reappear once I get... Whoa! He does have certain powers in this, but it's not... You don't get the powers from the enemies, you get it from the items. Ah, now I see why those guys were there. So, so that you could shoot them when you get out of it. I bet you this power is only temporary too. This flame burst power of sorts. Yeah, it's done. It's done! <sighs> and... Wow, there's so many doors! I, I want to show all the paths! How will I show all the paths? <laughs> um... I guess I'll... Oh, it's a door maze. Okay. But I thought there was another, you know, another door split at another spot. And I almost got took a hit there if I wasn't fast enough to press up. Oh, that must be the way out. I think. Maybe it's the way out. I'm not... Oh, 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 oh. This is the traditional la 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 and la 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 fight. That makes sense. Do the, the easy version first, and then the still easy but slightly harder version. <laughs> eh. It plays just like a regular Kirby game, so I feel right at home despite it being a practically ancient game by today's standards. <laughs> Oops. I need to jump up before using the sucky suck suck. I need to be better with my jump timing. There we go. Oh, oh, aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. Come on. I know how to defeat this boss. I've de oops, I've defeated it many times over in other Kirby games. E, one down, one to go, and usually the other one speeds up once you defeat one, and it doesn't seem to be doing that. Go <laughs> up there. Yeah. Do the Kirby. <laughs> Alright, I think... Wow, <laughs> yeah, this game, I mean, this video has gone on for quite a while here. 44 minutes, so if I'm gonna show other games, I'm going to have to be... I mean, I'm gonna have to play less of a game than uh, 
but then what I have been playing... Okay, what haven't you seen yet that I haven't played? I've played this in Nightmare in Dreamland. I made a walkthrough on that. I showed that. I haven't made a walkthrough on that yet. So I guess this is all that's left. Let's do this! Oh, this must be the introduction of those animal buddies. I will push start! Oh, we got some save files now. The other one didn't have save files. Um, I guess so. Oh. I thought that was a world map of sorts. It probably is a world map. Oh, that looks very familiar. <laughs> Woo! That was a really slow warp star, actually. Uh, oh, this is a level select, isn't it? Like uh, the first Kirby game. So yeah, the first door is open, and I bet you that one's the boss. Alright, let's get it started! New game! Well, it's new to me, at least. <laughs> uh, I don't believe any of those critters give me powers, but I believe this is the game where you start... Oops, where you're able to get powers from enemies. So I gotta be on the lookout for enemies that will give me powers, and... I should be able to recognize them just by how, how they look. I mean, I know the traditional Kirby enemies by now. I love Kirby so much! The bomb bomb, right? No bomb? Oh... So that wasn't Poppy Brother Jr. Mm -hmm. What is this? Umbrella! Oh, I don't like Umbrella. I just said I don't like Umbrella and other... I mean, when I played um, Kirby's Dream Land 3 briefly, and sure enough, I got Umbrella again. <laughs> it's just funny how things work, huh? <laughs> Alright, so... Let's just play some... What? Do you give me something? Oh, I just kind of instinctively pressed the minus button, and it worked. <laughs> so that was a birdie in an egg. So I guess the select button is the minus button, which is... Well, I'm guessing that's what it is. Like, yeah, the plus button is likely the start button. See, I, I'm guessing what they're doing is they're imitating the Game Boy's controls, so... Oh, not this game! <laughs> I'll never, ever reach the top! <laughs> I'm guessing is that they imitate the Game Boy's controls by having, like, one and two buttons as uh, B and A, and then the, the plus and minus button that start and select, which makes sense, you know, on the if it was like a Game Boy controller. Wait, wait, actually, would that enemy give me a fire power? Or burning power? Yes! Woo! You move faster with that than he did with the warp star. <laughs> You know, on that intro little cutscene thingy? <laughs> it's kind of awkward if you think about it like that. Well, no, no, there's somebody trapped in that bag, I, I think. Maybe it's just a live bag? No, I'm pretty sure that's somebody trapped in there. I'm just gonna spam this. <laughs> I have no idea what this critter is, but it's pretty weak. It, it's, it appears to be of the fire element. Like, if I were to lose it and grab another one, yeah, it gives me that again. Hello? Woo! It's my hamster buddy! I don't know his name offhand. But okay. So you can sh spit fire like that. So you're another combining power type of game. Good to know. You can use it to blow up enemies and blocks. As expected. I don't need that because I have full health. I'm pretty much dominating things. Watch me take a hit. <laughs> Just right after I say that, that's just usually how things go. I betcha that gives me the umbrella. Uh, or wait, did I grab an enemy that had that before, actually? I don't quite remember. What? Oh, broom Hatter might have had a broom, because I noticed that there was a broom power in... Uh, was it Dreamland 3? So let's see, let's lose the power and see if Broom Hatter... No, it doesn't! I lost my power for nothing! Oh, jeez, this game! Come on, get up to the top! Get up to the top! Oh, I actually made it! <laughs> and I got a happy polygonal sun as my reward. Now, if I get to the boss, is it gonna be Wispy Woods? Is it gonna be Wispy Woods? Tell me! Well, you're not gonna be able to tell me by the, by the time I get to Wispy Woods. And I bet you it is Wispy Woods, which is why, which is why I'm saying Wispy Woods all this time. <laughs> oh, wait! You can't float as your hamster buddy. No, I finally died. <laughs> I guess it was bound to happen eventually. 
Oh, oh, poopers. Well, that's okay. I will recover. I will survive. Even though I died once, but I have three lives apparently. Ooh, maximum tomato. That would be helpful if I actually took hits. Oh, wait. Is that a, yeah, there's a door. <laughs> I, I guess that's not much of a seeker, because that's where you're supposed to go, apparently, because that was a complete and total dead end. And this is going to be my longest video ever. Wow. <laughs> I just want to get to the boss, and then I'll uh, leave it there. Oh, actually, I should probably explore the other menus for you guys. What? That... That looks important. That looks very important. Uh, uh, maybe I'll be able to get in there later in the game, or maybe I need a certain power, like maybe... Umbrella! Will Umbrella work? Because it's an upward attacking thing. I don't know. Eh. Eh. Oh, it does work. Yay! I, I don't know what I'm getting here, but I got it. <laughs> Uh, that's it probably has something to do with 100%ing uh, this game. Kirby almost always has some sort of collectible that you need to get to 100% the games. Ow! No, wait, I want that back. I want to see if there's more potential for the umbrella in this game. I should try each power individually on each Kirby game to see if there's something different. Like, I noticed if you fall, you got the usual floaty float thing. But the, the question is, does it give you any other kinds of powers? If, I know that if you that if an enemy oops drops on your head, it'll automatically pop when it hits the umbrella like that. Because the oops, the umbrella is more of a guard than it is an attacking item per se, in my opinion. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh I'll never reach that one up again. <laughs> These stages are really short. Alright, boss. It's gonna be Wispy Woods, isn't it? What the heck? <laughs> it's Wispy Woods Doctor? I... What? Wispy Woods Mad Scientist? I have no idea. And those, why did I decide to swallow that apple? I have no idea. But it is definitely Wispy Woods. Maybe that mask and glasses were... was to try and intimidate me, or maybe they were controlling Wispy Woods, but if that was the case, once they were removed, he just kept attacking me anyway. So it makes no sense, <laughs> what I just said. <sighs> but it was Wispy Woods, just as I expected. Oh, and I was supposed to collect something there, because there's that, there's that same symbol of the thing that I collected earlier. So there's probably one per level, or one per world, but, yeah, I'm gonna reset. Let's just move on. I'm just, I'm just gonna be giving you guys like a movie of sorts, like a, an actual feature length film, even longer than that. Um, oh, the challenge stages for, uh, maybe I should see these. No, I'll do one just for you guys. Yeah, these challenge stages were uh, obviously inspired by the, um... Oh wow, it's a game in it on itself. They're inspired by the challenge stages in, uh, Return to Dreamland. Oh man, this is... This is... Ah, oh, I've missed this so much. I love my... I mean, I love doing the Return to Dreamland uh, walkthrough. Magalore, how's it... How have you been? Hmm. Interesting. Okie dokie. Awesome. I will. But I will only just do one or two here. Wah? Interesting. So will I be able to face the Magalore boss of sorts? I don't know. Oh, well, anyway. Let's just see how this goes. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay, sword! I am very familiar with the sword power, as you are well aware of. But will I be familiar enough with it to get the master score of sorts? Probably not! <laughs> but I will be able to clear the stage. If it's giving me three minutes, they're usually pretty lenient with the time limit and all. Oh yeah! Oh, there's a little tutorial on how to play the game as well. Because this is this is normally, you know, something that you would come across much, much later in uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Well, actually, maybe it's not that much later, but it would be after the first stage that you would play. So, I guess I gotta do a little tutorial of sorts. Oh, yeah! Feels... I feel right at home here. <laughs> Woo! I don't think you can lose your power, actually. Uh, because, you know, these challenge stages are based around having a certain power. Squishy! <laughs> Squishy! I gotta be careful what I cut, though. Because I might actually close off something. Uh, you know, before I move on. Accidentally, and then I'll lose out on the points or something. That's gonna mass destroy everything. And that's gonna chase after me, isn't it? Have mercy! <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna get stopped over there, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! I was expecting it to, like, just stick in there and not actually destroy itself when it, fall, when it fell down. Wow. Whoa! That was a little close. A little too close for comfort. Oh, jeez. Oh, my, oh, my, oh. Wow! Wait, what's that? Oh! Secret! I bet you if I just, I mean, if I hit the left one, that would make that bomb bridge pop, yup, and then I would lose the goodies that was on top of it. I recognize that instantly when I seen it. Um, oh jeez, oh my, help, help, <laughs> oh my, oh goodness, <laughs> and I made it, woo, how well did I do though? I got the gold! And a ghost race? Really? What's... Does that... A ghost race? Does that mean I can race against some character? To get through the stage as fast as possible or something? And that's obviously to unlock other stages. <gasps> Spark! Wait, what is this? Training room. Let's try. Oh, I see. It's one of these things. You can just keep attacking that enemy infinitely. They had that in the uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland as well. Okay, so each of these unlocks a different. Um, well, unlocks a different lock up here, and that unlocks whatever stage is up there. I'm definitely going to the Spark Room. Oh, yeah! You guys know this is my favorite power, although it's really, really overpowered. It's just so much fun to use, though. As you know, you can charge by rotating the D-pad as well as shaking... Yeah, you can shake the Wii Remote as well in this one. And then unleash the energy! Yeah! And attack above you by holding up and then the attack button. Yeah, you can shoot through walls and everything. It is a ridiculously powerful power that has pretty much no weakness. <laughs> and I should be attacking the enemy, shouldn't I? Hmm. Yeah. But if I attack, I get sort of shot upwards. Eh. Uh, I can't do... I guess it's... Whoa! <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't charging up anything there, because I needed this specific part of the power to be able to do something about it. Hmm. Oh wait, I need to do that! Okay, each of these has a different effect that, oh! that I need to use to get through it. What am I supposed to do about those guys? Do I do that?
sorry about that. I've been recording for so long, my camera ran out of memory. <laughs> okay, so what am I supposed to do about this? What does that switch do? Oh, I was supposed to stay on that and then use this power through the whole thing to mass murder these guys. Okay. Yeah, this is, wow, going on for such a long time that I probably should stop soon, but I'm just having so much fun. Uh, oops. Uh, I should actually hurry it up though just a little bit. Oh, jeez. One, one. Oh, I was supposed to use that, wasn't I? Curses. Oh, well, I made it. Yeah, I didn't expect to do quite as well there because I wasn't predicting my moves as well as I was doing with the sword, but whatever. I will take a silver. There's probably like a, a higher platinum level than there is gold like there was in uh, Return to Dreamland. Umbrella! Well, parasol challenge. What are the advice? I mean, what is the advice? What are the advice? Durk. English is not my native language, even though it is my na native language. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, so cute. Charge! <laughs> Woo! Wow, that's... I forgot how much they improved the parasol over uh, other Kirby games. So much more swift. Charge downwards! Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was only down right and I thought I was just pressing right, I guess. Or maybe I was only just pressing right, I'm not sure, but wow! It's spectacular! <laughs> Woo! Missed only one there. <laughs> well, on, the, on that last run, I mean. This is awesome! <laughs> I forgot what it means to be empowered! Empowered by Kirby powers! Oh! Wait, what is... Why are those there? Can I do something about... It looks like they're covering a door! Oh! That... I didn't know you could do that! That's very interesting! What does that do? Oh! Whoa! Oh, I see. You're supposed to... You're supposed to hit each switch. Like that. And... Oops! I can do this. I can do this. Wait, why isn't my... why am I not able to use my power in midair? Maybe I'm, what I'm supposed to do is this, and then... No, it has to be... Oh. Well, wasn't that... Hmm, why... No? I'm not sure how to do this one. Because... Yeah, I'm... you can hear me... really hitting the button! <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how to do that one at all, so I'm just going to move on before I run out of time. I want to see whatever boss is over there, if that's a... Wait, I need to do that. There we go. Woo! Wait, what's that? Oh, it's the door. That's the exit! My prize is... something. A silver! Let's go to the map. Yeah, I'm unlocking the ghost race. I'm curious to see what the ghost races are actually. Oh, so much Kirby to see, so little time. Duh. Woo. I don't know why I got a bronze trophy, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe it has to do with the total score per level. Okay, what's the ghost race? I'm just gonna, just gonna try this really quick. Uh huh. Be oh, beat your own record. So it's going to. Oh yeah, it's just imitating what I'm doing. Yep, exactly what I'm doing. Oh, made a mistake there. <laughs> no, little ghost, I will catch up to you. That is one ultra cute ghost. <laughs> I'm catching up just a little bit. I'm gonna slam down. Oh, that didn't help very much. <laughs> Woo! Oh, should have did a charge. Okay, well, we get the idea of what this is. So let's exit. 
And let's see what this is. I have no... Oh. It's a race against Magalore, so I guess this is what he was talking about with the race. Wait, level... Oh, this music! This music! I love this music! Since this is the first race, I don't expect it to be... Um all that hard. I'm guessing it's going to be um, like the gourmet races in uh, Kirby Superstar. Go, 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 go! Whoa! How, how did you do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing I was supposed to do something. Was this music in... Kirby's Return to Dreamland? I don't remember. I don't think so. This might just be unique to the game. Oh, and you're doing that on purpose. So you're the one that's making these enemies. How dare you? Oh, I need to do. I need to. Oh, geez. You can go through that, can't you? Yes. Well, you're gonna just wait, wait for me to hit the switch. Oh, geez. I'm losing. I'm losing, but I'm a lot faster than you are. Yet the sword is so swift. Actually, maybe he's just able to do that on his own, because I'm not able to do that little twirly thing. Oh jeez, I can go through that with the sword, that's right. The sword makes me pretty much invulnerable when I'm- Whoa! When I'm doing that. I can use that to my advantage. Oh jeez, oh jeez, do not- Oh! <laughs> go, 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 go! Yeah! Never played that before. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, so they're like challenge stages in themselves, in that you have to aim for a good score as well as getting to the end in time. So Magalore kind of acts as a timer as well as an enemy spawner of sorts. Okay. Interesting. That must lead me to World 2. I'll just grab that for the heck of it just to see what it looks like. Apricot Atrium. Uh, wait, what is this? Is this the fighting? Yeah, it's the fighter combat. Okay. For some reason, I didn't recognize that was the boxing love at first. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is leave. Go back to this. And look at the history is the last thing that I'm going to be doing in this video. Uh, I just decided to press back for the heck of it to see if they had the same, see if they had anything there, but yeah, they did. Maybe this is like a secret Easter egg of sorts. I don't know. Hmm. By the way, if you can't read as fast as I can, just pause the video <laughs> or or rewind. That is a big lollipop. Wow. Hmm. Ah, Virtual Boy, die! <laughs> this is pretty fun to go through, but I think it's gonna be... Um, I think it's going to go rather quickly, <laughs> if you ask me. Because I don't think there's anything else on here. I mean, you know, on each of these screens that I can shift, shift through or something like that. Hmm. What is... Oh, that's that's the movie. Am I actually able to watch? Oh, I can. Uh, I'm not gonna show all those. So does that mean I could? I could actually click on these. Two? Oh wow. Okay, there's more to see than I thought. Okay, I'm I'm definitely not gonna go through all that. <laughs> I'll go through all these. I just change the music. Interesting. I don't have this game though. I heard it was pretty good though. Hmm. 
Ah yes, the Wii, the very system I'm playing on right now. Oh, that's a big ice cream float. Ah, I love this game. This is this game right here, Kirby Superstar Ultra, is my favorite Kirby game. Actually, it's the original Superstar was spectacular. But they expanded on it and made it portable, and that that was just amazing. Hmm. Interesting. And all the un unveiling of the Wii U, which will be coming out quite short. I mean, uh, shortly actually. And here we are. In the modern days, there's much more Kirby to be had past this game, I am sure. And that's all I think I'm going to be doing here. So, I hope you enjoyed this ridiculously long video, and I will see you in the next one! This one this was really fun to make, I have to say.